You might think that having a successful business is enough, but it isn't in today's competitive landscape. There is one thing that can help separate you from your competitors, and that's a personal brand. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share how you can go from zero to hero in no time with your personal brand. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this video. That way, when I release more content like this, you'll get notified. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Step one, focus on one channel. Sure, eventually you wanna leverage all the channels out there, but when you're starting, you need to just pick one channel. It's hard to deliver great content on many channels at the same time. So what's your strength? Is it spoken word? Spoken word is like video or podcasting. Or is it written word? Is it blog content, social media, whether it's Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook? Some of these channels accept both written and spoken. And here's the beautiful part. When you create content on one of these channels, sure, even though you're focusing on just one at first, once you get it down, you can use that same content on other channels as well. For example, when I create video content like this, my team and I, we always put on YouTube, we put on Facebook, we put on Instagram, and we put on LinkedIn. In other words, I'm taking that same video and spreading it in four different places. That's what makes it super effective. You also want to look like, hey, where's my audience hanging out? Are they hanging out mainly on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter? Sure, I have an audience on Facebook, I have an audience on YouTube, I have one on LinkedIn, but did you know that I generate more revenue from LinkedIn than any of the other social platforms? It could be because LinkedIn is a B2B social network and I'm in the B2B space. But the point I'm trying to make is not all channels are equal, even if you're getting the engagement. So don't just look at numbers on, hey, this channel is gonna get me a ton of likes or comments. Look at what's most relevant for your audience. Where are they gonna be? Where are the decision makers gonna be? Where are the buyers gonna be? The next step is to document your journey, your struggles. If you look at Gary Vee, he's done really well, not because he just creates a ton of content. He's actually just living his life and documenting it, and he has someone following him around. Now, you probably can't go as above and beyond as Gary is because he has the capital to spend, you know, camera crews and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't mean that you can't get started on a budget. You can just bust out your phone and document it yourself. You don't have to have a full-blown production just like he does. Now, why does this work? Well, people are curious about your life. Just think about keeping up with the Kardashians. They're known globally. Why? Because they just live their lives. People like that. They prefer that over something that's very scripted. Now, they also want to know things like, how do you go about you know, your life, your processes, the struggles you face? What problems are you solving? How do you build relationships in your industry? What your mindset is and how you think about things compared to other people? How do you keep growing and learning every single day? These are just random things that people will be interested in and you sharing that, even if it's not 100% related to your business, that's okay. It'll help build up your personal brand. The next step, research topics that people are interested in. You can't just create content around whatever you want. It has to be related to the industry you're in. So you can use Quora. What are the most popular questions people are typing in and answering on Quora? Look at Facebook groups. What are the most popular ones in your niche? What are they talking about? Have you ever leveraged the content ideas report in Uber Suggest? It shows you all the popular content based on social share, search traffic, and backlinks. Same with the keyword ideas report in Uber Suggest. It shows you all the popular keywords that people are typing in, whether they're questions, prepositions, comparisons, or just general keyword suggestions from Google Suggest. When you have that, that'll help you figure out what content you should be creating. And then, of course, you want to go and try to create the content around those subjects. The fourth thing you wanna do is listen to what people are saying in the comments and create content around that as well. Look, comments are super important. People who engage with you matter. If someone takes the time to leave a comment, you should take the time to respond. Now, your response could be a blog post, it could be a podcast episode, it could be a video, it could just be that you respond to their comment. But by helping people who are leaving comments, you're gonna build rapport with them, your brand's gonna grow, and in the long run, it's gonna create a huge, massive effect. Then you wanna reach out to the people personally who inspired you to create that content. For example, I had a guy named Khalil who encouraged me to create a blog post on FAQ schema. I reached out to him and I let him know I was really thankful and how I appreciated his feedback and advice. That meant the world to him and it meant the world to me as well. We now have built a much better relationship. Every once in a while, I'll text him back and forth, but you need to show your appreciation to other people. The fifth thing I want you to do is to do a podcast and interview tour. Here's what I mean, two things. 
One, you search on Google for podcast interviews with other people in your niche. You wanna make a big list of all those people who are a good fit for you to also be on their show. Head them up, tell them, hey, I wanna be on your show. Here's my background, I've been on other shows. If you haven't been on other shows, no worries, you don't have to mention that. But what you do need to mention in the email is three different topics that you can discuss with them on their show that would benefit their reader. Tell them why they're a good fit for the audience, why they're gonna learn from it, show some stats, some data, this will help you build your brand. Then the other thing you wanna do is offer people in those podcasts something for free that they can get on your website. Whether it's a masterclass, an ebook, a complimentary consulting call. I know that's going above and beyond, most you won't offer that. But whatever it may be, something where you can get their email list, grow your brand, continually help them out and educate them. And of course, make sure you're also consider creating your own podcast as well. When you're on all these other podcasts, you can promote your own podcast and get more and more regular listeners. The sixth thing I want you to do is interview other authority people in your niche. If you want to be a huge personal brand, if you want to build up your brand and be well known as an authoritative figure more than most people, the quickest way to get there is to associate yourself with people who are already well known. Whether they're directly in your space or in similar spaces, if you hit them up, these people with these big egos, and you interview them, not only are you gonna be connected with them, they'll be like, oh, Neil is with Elon Musk, right? I don't don't know him, never interviewed him, but if I did, people would be like, wow, Neil knows Elon Musk. That would help build up my personal brand and my credibility. And you don't have to score the Elon Musk of the world, you can just get people who are already a personal brand within your niche. And as you do this, and you publish that podcast episode, that interview, or that video interview, you can push it out on podcasting, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. You can even tell them about it and ask them to share it on their social profiles because if they are an influencer, they should have followers as well that they can promote to. That'll help the content spread. That'll help you get more traction. That'll help you build out a brand. So if you follow all that, your personal brand can go from zero to hero in no time. If you need help with your marketing, your branding, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, tell other people about it. Thank you.